I hate, I hate the way YouTube doesn't, like, you have to re-click on the stream. Yeah, otherwise it doesn't refresh. Yeah. Hello, everybody. We're back. At least I think we're back. I mean, I see you guys talking. But I'm still doing 20 things. So hang on a second. I also have to repost the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? The link in the Discord and everything and everywhere else that I post the stuff because it's actually a different link now because it's a technically a different live stream now because that's the way YouTube does things. But I think other than that, we should be good. Obviously, we lost our a billion lurkers that we had, which sucks. But they'll be back because this is the best show in the verse. It's the best. It's the best supermarket in the verse. The Astro Mart, which is where we left off. Actually, it was uh, right here on the supermarket. Right. This is. Uh, yeah. This is the Astro, the Astro Mercenaries convenience store. Where we're at right now is the Astro Mercenaries convenience store. Give me two seconds, guys. Almost done setting this all up. Yeah, YouTube sucks with crash streams. I agree. We're back. Hello. Hi there. John. Kenny. John. Yes. Bro, been live for 55 minutes and still haven't made it to the hangar yet. Oh, yeah. You best believe it's going to be like that the whole time. Anyways, here's the other inventory menu, guys. Weapons load out magazines. Can I click on, like, the weapon? Can, do, can I do anything with this? Doesn't seem like I can do anything with this. Can't do shit. Where'd those come from? It looks so weird in the mask. <laughs> Anyways. This is the Astro Mercenary convenience store. The convenient mart. The... Of all that nature. Does any of this work? Were you able to buy? You were able to buy components at Cousin Crows, right? Yeah, it worked. Okay. Um, just the initially working on the terminals were a bit, was a bit laggy. Yeah. But after about half an hour, things settled down, and now it's kind of normal. Good purchase. Got to get the uniform, guys. The Astro Mercenary uniform. You don't need to get the helmet, but I'm going to get the helmet for now because we're not up at the... I'm also going to get the chess piece for now. Until we get the Seraphim to go buy the rest of the uniform. Welcome back, everybody who is settling back in. I apologize for the crash um, stream. Is it working over on Twitch as well? Um, Valix, are you there? Splash, are you there? But yeah. Sorry for that, guys. Like I said, we're here. Everything should be working. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. Alright, Orson seems to be working pretty well now. Cosmic, hello. Thank you. It's working on Twitch. Appreciate you. Seems like clicking on the terminals to buy stuff just takes a little bit of while for it to, to work in. Howdy, how's it going, Accelerator? We're here. We're live, broskies. 
No chat on YouTube, but I can see it. There's no chat on YouTube? I can see a chat on YouTube. Yeah, everyone should be working there. Alright, so we're gonna buy about like, uh, you know, 21 JS 300s. There's chats, but what the hell? Chat on YouTube, yep, see, there you go. That's 300k. 500k for 11. Did it? I might not have bought my JS300. So let me check. Did it buy my JS300s? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Name the folder EPTU. Yes, name it whatever it's supposed to be. So if we name it EPTU. Okay, again, we're going to buy 21 JS 300s. Okay, and then we're going to buy like six JS 500s. We don't need that many of those. It's going to cost a million to buy all those anyways. Uh, quantum drives. Uh, we're gonna buy three TS2s. We're gonna buy six XO1s. Nah, we'll buy eight XO1s. Honestly, I probably need more than that. Um, and then the Voyage. Well, we're going to buy a couple of VK00s. We'll buy three VK00s to be safe. And then we're going to buy about like 29 Magillion Voyages. 21 of them. Okay. And then Shield Generators. I'm probably, every time we do, every time we get a new update, I'm going to have to redo this, which is going to suck, but whatever. Um, we're going to buy 40 FR sixty sixes. We're gonna buy twenty seventy sixes, and then we'll buy eleven eighty sixes. No, 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 no. We don't need that many sixes. We only need six of them. Yeah. All right, so we spent five million just buying components just now. No biggie. Big ballin'. Processing transaction. Transaction complete. Okay, so we're good to go, guys. Um, so now that we've done that. Let's take a moment and look at the Moby Glass, guys. Let's talk about the Moby Glass. Again, apologize for the stream crash. I don't know why that happened. Was it was it Star Citizen's fault? Was it my fault? Was it my computer's fault? Was it whose fault was it? Let's not place blame. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the movie glass now, guys. Okay, so this is the home screen of the movie glass, right? I'm gonna take away the display info so we can fully look at it. Look how many times you have to hit tab to get the display info. Okay, so it looks like it's cut off. Like, like it, it looks like the screen for my Moby Glass is off-centered. So that already is like, come on, please fix that. Why Why is the right side of my screen cut off? So that's that's my first 
thought on this, right? But on the home, the home gives you a lot of information. It gives you notifications, it gives you your contracts, it gives you reputation, it gives you your crime stat, it gives you information on your vehicle, it seems, how many missiles you have in your vehicle, how much ballistic ammo you have in your vehicle, your hydrogen, quantanium, all that stuff on whatever vehicle you're in, I am assuming. Um, speaking of vehicle stuff, we need to buy vehicle weapons, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, and then apparently your health and your status, which I said, like I said, is a little bit cut off here. So, and then there's an environment. It shows how much gravity is on the current celestial body that you're on. That's really cool. That's really cool. The Atmo is safe to breathe in. The pressure of the atmosphere, the temperature, and the radiation. All in your home screen. Notifications. Let's see if I hit this X button. It's getting rid of these notifications. Oh, look. Severe injury detected. Earlier when we died, it gave me a notification saying that I got a tier 1 injury. So you can clear your notifications. That's pretty cool. Then, of course, you know, your name and your money. I think it's going to be weird that your money is not, like, big on the screen anymore and your name's not big on the screen anymore. It's a little bit weird. So let's go through things we could click on. Um, oh, look at that. So you hit this little tab button up here on the vehicles, and you could legit... What is this? Why does it say I have an Aegis Gladius Pirate? I don't think it's implemented yet. I don't think it's linked to your account yet. No, it, it definitely... No, it's... Oh, you might be right. It almost looks like it's my ships. Might be. Because it... was way shorter. It's almost like my... But I don't have a blade pledged and I don't have like I said a gladius pirate pledged but and I don't have a carrick pledged but a lot of this is let's see what happens if we click on one okay okay so now it's showing my hornet and how and it's information on my hornet I mean obviously we don't even have it delivered so it's not working correctly but yeah Interesting. Okay, so, um, can we unclick the Hornet? No, you can't unclick it. Once you've clicked, you, you're stuck with you one. Can. Um, at the top, there's that, uh, the arrow? little slider next to the arrow up. Oh, that's not. No, that's, I've already done that. Oh. I'm saying once you click on one, you can't unclick. You know oh, what I mean? Like you have to change. You can't go back to having none selected. Is what I'm saying. You uh, have. To I was being stupid. But anyways, so that's that. Let's go through the tabs now, guys. Health, right? This is our heart rate, body temp, hydration level, hunger level, drug level, oxygen, all that stuff. A little bit annoying that it's cut off to the right. Comms. Comms looks exactly the same. Speaking of comms, we should probably just invite Hopeless to a party, right? Comms and the vehicle thing haven't been updated yet. Okay, contracts, completely different. There's a mark all as red button. That is beautiful. Call to arms, clear jumper, security work assessment, delivery missions, racing bounty hunter, tracker certification, suspect apprehension certification. There's a criminal out here somewhere. Who's the criminal? Q 
Keelon. Keelon, what are you doing with your life? How you have a freaking grind set already? Again, this needs to be fixed on why it doesn't show the whole screen like this. Is, is it the same way on your screen? Yeah, it is. Fog up the edge. Um, guys, here's the star map. I know you guys wanted to see this. It's it's not fix. It's not like completely. Like it's it's not working 100% yet, and it's not all implemented. But here it is. Here's the star map. What ships do I have pledged? Well, we'll go take a look at it right now in just a second. We could search locations like Brios. Brios Breakers Yard. Boom. That's the best thing about the star map right now is you could type in the location. Like, why does it look like this? Like, I, why does it look like absolute garbage, right? Microtech. Look at that. Beautiful. So I, I will tell you guys that's the best function in the star map currently is just the search bar. It's probably the best thing about the star map currently. The rest of it is definitely a work in progress. It's uh, really bad at the moment. Journal looks a little bit different. There's a mark all red button that's so beautiful I'll tell you guys that much just the mark red button is freaking glorious 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 <laughs> beautiful okay I'll stop reputation factions no results wallet the trade you trust the vehicle ma maintenance and the vehicle manager as you said is completely the same look at this we, it's so hard to even click on our vehicles because of the way the screen is right now see i have a regular gladius here's all my pledge ships where you're right here buddy gladius redeemer vanguard sentinel arrow pisces two mark two hornets i wonder why i have two of them maybe because we're giving one away at some point at some time in the near future or some oh uh, what um you know sandaki eye no man spirit some other ships just some other ships you know here or there so that's the moby glass guys i think that's all of it i think i've gone through the moby glass Okay. Um, to the spaceships. To the ships? Is that the plan, guys? To the ships? I think that's the plan. Is that Hopeless? Whoa. Look at Hopeless's marker. Y'all see that? What is that? Is that like lights yeah. from Seraphim Station? I know they, they, they updated the LOD with all the planets. Look, that's got to be lights of Seraphin Station up there. Because you're at Seraphin, right? Yeah. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense. For all those lights to be right there. Where's all the clouds? It just must be a clear day. Clear night. What the fuck? Alright, well. I guess we'll never make it to the space station, guys. I'm trying. We'll wait for the next one. Let's pay attention to this. We got 30 seconds, guys. Is there a location map? Like a map where you're on a horse? And yes, the radar up here in the top left. You're covering it. The oh, covering the it. webcam is covering the map, yes. Um, but I don't have it right now. Well, you know what we'll do, guys? Here. The next shuttle is approaching. 
can. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. So it's it's there on the top left, but currently the location we're at does not have it available. Last call for passengers. The shuttle is preparing to depart. It is not possible that they snuck in the 600 i rework. No, I don't think they did that. But you're saying that the 600 i does have a new layout in the map? What were you saying, Hopeless? Oh, I was just saying Surf and Station has one. It's a map. Surf and Station has a map. Just click on the like fire weapons and it tells shows you where it is. Click on the fire weapons. So on the map, there's when you're in the station, you'll see a, a map of things and it, like it's got a list on the left hand side. And if you just click on the item it, in the list, it will actually mark where it is on the map. I don't know how to make a waypoint. Doesn't do the waypoint yet. But oh, but it'll like highlight the area on the map. But yeah, it will move to where it is. Gosh, this is rough. So bear with the frames and bear with the the lagginess, guys. That's that's what tonight's gonna be. It's going to be terrible. But this is I'm giving you guys first look. See, you can see the map a little bit now. You see there, there's a map for the spaceport. Oh, when you enter the elevator, it goes away. Hmm. Okay. That makes sense. Sort of. I just have a quick question. Did you guys find that you had more money than you regularly had? You always start off with 15 mil. 15 mil? Okay. Yep. Yep. So now you guys can see, say. you guys can see the map in the top left corner now. There you guys go. I don't think there's anything interesting on the bottom left corner. If you press F2, you'll bring up the... If you go into your normal map, when you've got the map in the top of the corner, you'll actually, instead of going to the plant tree map, it will actually show you the map of the... where you are now. Correct, yes. Oh, and then you're saying it has all the stuff on the left. And you can go, boom, 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 okay. There's so much to look at, so much to, so much to see. The map's a game changer for new players. I don't, I don't particularly like having a map like i'm i'm very much on a Welcome i'm a i'm very much on make it harder for everyone type of person like we had signs that showed us where to go y'all should be happy with that okay <laughs> all right if they do what they were talking about and sort of you have to buy map updates and that sort of stuff then it kind of works. So you land on a planet, you're not going to automatically get a map. I guess the 600i is the biggest ship I have, so that's what we're taking the Seraphim. 600i is Rubbing the biggest star. ship I have. Please visit us again. Goodbye. We'll go ahead and change out the loadout while we're here, too. It looks blurry. Yeah, the 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 map and everything, the Moby glass is blurry. That's normal. Okay. All right, our 600 eye is beautifully decorated out. To the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. 600 I retrieve. Hangar 19. 
So as you guys can see there, look at that, it's got a nice little marker there. It's a little bit blendy, blending in with everything. I don't know how I feel about that, but for the most part this all looks the same, right? Getting into an elevator, going to the location where your vehicle is, doing that. Uh, the hangers, big surprise guys, the hangers are not in the game yet. Like the new, the new hangers are not in the game. So don't expect to see the 600i rise out of the ground because it's not. You still get to look at that beautiful booty. Damn! Look at that ass! I mean, what? Um, it's just a ship, guys. Calm down. Calm down. Um, oh, there we go. What the heck? The elevator. That's how this elevator seems questionable, guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is different. Hey, guys, the 600i has a map. The 600i has a map. Look at the beautiful 600i map. Uh, Streamlabs, calm down. Streamlabs, you didn't have to give them all that information all at once. There are timers for a reason, Stream Maps or Streamlabs. Follow the timers I've given you. Okay, bot? You're supposed to do things correctly, bot. Look, look guys, the 600i has a map. Oh wow, you can see the guns on it. You see that? Look at those big old size five guns. What's up, y'all? Yo. We just sold 7.85 million. Nice, my dude. Nice. What up? Look at that. You can see the big old guns. You can see the small guns. You can see all the doors. That's the 600i. What are you guys doing? Reclaimer stuff? We just pulled. Uh, going to Lorville now. Nice. I'm gonna okay. Buy myself a buccaneer. Here is. Mil. Here is going to be the first takeoff in the 600i with master modes. No, it's just new. I don't know how this works. Look at already the interface. Um. So do it, do you start off in nav mode? It seems like it, right? No, no, you start off in. You started up in SCM. In SCM mode, okay. Yeah, because my shields are generating. It seems like my Toby eye trackers. Interesting. I can't look down for some reason. Maybe it's the tie that's in the way. It's hard to look down when you have a tie on. <laughs> All right. Do I fly off in safe mode? Did I open up the doors? You can I did fly open up the <laughs> So, to get out of safe mode. Oh, yeah, key bindings are so different now. Okay. Okay, I switched to nav mode. Shields are dropping. Quantum travel can't quantum travel well in atmosphere. Okay. Oh, guys. Hold on a minute. We can't take off yet. We have to put everything on the ship.
Okay. It's really weird. The 600i is not the ship to be testing all this on because 600i's UI is kind of really hard to look at. Everything's so white. Everything's so bright on the 600i. Okay, so we're gonna move everything from. Oh shit. The 600i has no vehicle capacity. Paint. What? What? Uh, what hangar are you going to? Yeah. A paint we'll takes fucking like one <clears throat> SCU. A paint. Paint takes one SU. How much does a gun? Let's oh hold on. Let's put on an FR sixty six shield. Or the XL one. How much does an you can't even fit an XL one in the damn six hundred I. I can't fit any of these things in the six hundred I. I guess we're living at an Orison, my dudes. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. How about, let's see if we can take just smaller components. Like say we want to get a light fighter out. What's the light fighter we want to drive? Vanguard. Um, so we could put JS 400s in. We could put JS 300s in. Right? No, we can't. We can't even put JS 300s. Bro, we can't take shit with this. Is that the new inventory system basically is what they're... This is the reason why this is happening. They just nerfed yes. the crap out of the inventory of my ship. Right. Because it's meant to be things that you'd get from the cargo hangar. Correct. Correct. What's up, Fractured? How you doing, my dude? Hope you're having a wonderful day. All right. Going to check how much space the C1 has. Okay, guys, we're not flying the 600i. Unless you guys want to fly the 600i. No, I lied. We are flying the 600i. We're just going to get dressed here. The, the C1 only has 70k micro C. <laughs> no, that's my backpack. <laughs> Never mind. I'm an idiot. Uh... 2,460,000 micros. 2,460? So less than 600. Interesting, okay. The 600i won't take any ship parts in the current build? I disagree. I, I usually always take my 600i as the cargo ship. I could go get the C1 and see if that, but, but Hopeless just confirmed the C1 has less cargo. I guess we are going to wear this undersuit. Yo, 
I cannot put aside three pounds for Peter. Okay. Like I said, we'll just get dressed right now. Why do I have a P4 rifle? We're definitely... Oh, there's so many... Our choices for guns right now, I bet you guys want to see the FS9. So we'll take out the FS9. And oh, it would be nice to take out the P6 too, but I can only take two guns. You know what? Actually, I'm going to take out the P6. Where did the gun go? It's not on my back. Oh, it is on my back. It's just not on the backpack. Okay. We're going to take out the P6 and we're going to take out the FS9. We don't have ammo. Oh well. That's why we're going to Seraphin, right? The multi-tool... Might as well. Tractor beam? Might as well. Um, throw on that, throw on that, we don't have drinks or anything, that's okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. We're dressed. We look... Almost like an astral mercenary. It's really weird that I can't hit the X button to get out. I have yeah. I have to like hit the inventory button, right? So your X button doesn't work either. Doesn't work either. Huh. Okay. All right, guys. We'll fly the 600i just because it's different than the other ships for master modes. So we're in nav mode right now. We have no shields. Whoa. It's dark. Hold on. If I... Am I in decoupled right now? I can't tell. I'm pretty sure I'm in decoupled. If I pull up the landing gear... Here, this will tell you if I'm a decoupled or not. If I pull up the landing gear and we start falling. Yep, yep. We're in decoupled mode. Right. We're starting to fall. I can't tell. Wait, is my landing gear still down? No, my landing gear's up. I can't tell. The, land the landing gear did have a, an effect on my speed for the C1, so I was considerably slower, like... I can't... 25% speed. Dude, the 600i is not the answer. Gear. The 600i is so broken. Look at the glare, guys. I cannot see out my windshield. I can't just... I can't fucking see, guys. We're, we're going back. We're not taking this ship. I can't see shit. <laughs> I can't see shit. Dude. The ship is just not even responding to me. Is that key binding issues or... It might be key um, binding issues. Could be. It, it also just could be because it's... In Ibicardi, there were some ships that 
just needed to be reworked because they couldn't even take off in SEM mode. No, I think it's I think it's keybinding issues. I have no idea. I'm in nav mode currently. But like I can't go forward. I'm pushing forward and my ship's not going forward. That might be key points. But when I push forward with W, it works. It might be key binding issues. Hold on. I switched to SEM and 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 didn't change anything. I see pitch up and down. I see yaw. I see roll. I see strafe up and down. I see strafe left and right. I don't see throttle. Where's throttle? Where's forward? Strafe forward and back? Is it this? Forward and back doesn't exist on the key bindings. It's only this button right here. Uh, it's the UIV straight forward, UIV straight back. The what? I see straight forward and I see straight back invert. So straight forward back invert is just a button to, to, to toggle between. Okay. But you, you see above that you've got straight longitudinal. I'm not sure what that is. Yes. But above that you've then got straight forward and straight back. I think those are straight forward and back. Yeah, but it wouldn't be that. It would be a straight left, straight right. Oh uh, yeah, it's the but then it's probably straight long longitudinal. Yeah, longitudinal. I want to say it's that, yeah. Well, but now it's inverted. That's uh, something in the gamesmith settings, right? That's under controls. Under controls. Inversion settings? Yeah. Uh, and you need to set it for the right stick. Uh, I just set the same inversion settings for all sticks. Okay. God, 
but the frames are so bad too. Landing complete. I know it's not my computer's fault either. It, it's the, my frame's also terrible. Because we, I did some working on my computer too, and and cleaned it up and and made it run beautifully. What happened to Donnie? We lost Donnie. This is so weird. Click on the elevator stuff is so weird. Yeah, yeah, sorry, we're not flying the 600 I. I almost feel like deleting the whole folder and reinstalling the game later tonight and just starting with fresh keybinds. It's going to be weird to go through all those again, but at some point we're going to have to. All right, what's the plan, Opus? Well, if you want to see something, we can go find a distribution center. Distribution center? Thing. Okay. Yeah. There are the animals somewhere. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. <laughs> what do we bring? C1 really the answer? I think it is, right? Please visit us again. Goodbye. Even if you put like kind of weird at the moment. I think they've changed the storage size of the ships, but they haven't adjusted the weapons appropriately. Yeah. So, a size 3 gun that fits on your, like a, a Hornet, there's no container that you can put it in, it's just too large. It do a size 3 gun doesn't fit in a C1. Did we get all the paints off of the 600i? Because I don't have the paint for my C1. There's a lot of paints to go through to try to find the damn thing. I had all the C1 paints, so probably still on the 600i. So this is kind of what I mean, the, the, the Panther repeater, size 3 repeater, is 75 756,000 micro SC. Yeah. Which a, a, the best storage container we can get at the moment is a 8,000 micro SCU. So it's saying that a size 3 Panther repeater is bigger than an 8 SCU container. Welcome to the ASOC by retrieval system. By like two orders of magnitude. <laughs> the gun's big, but
Guys, I don't think you guys realize how important this paint is. The fuck's my paint? If they think I'm gonna fly around, what's up, Enel? By the way, how you doing, my dude? If they think that I'm gonna fly around in my C1 without my correct C1 paint, y'all got another thing coming. The worst part about about this is you're not technically in this. Oh wait. Oh, oh, no, yeah. You're still not technically in the 600 I until you get up the elevator. That was different. Oh, there we go. Okay. Like the elevator doesn't count as being part of the 600 I. Are you serious right now? I, I lost I lost paints. Where it doesn't say that it's a part of my inventory. How they expect me to fly around in the C1 without my freaking uh, 